Welcome back. This is Lee Jones, and we have part two of six simultaneously filled um, cups layered and ready to be poured. Um, and I am ready to start going right now. So I'll stop the introduction. Thank you so much for joining us. lights outside. Okay, now I'm going to start by lifting this canvas and start to uh, tilt and then maybe put some paint around what's already on the canvas so it'll make it easier for the paint to um, glide over the canvas, the surface, without having resistance. And that was a ninja swipe. I decided to go ahead and take a stick and just swipe through the paint a couple of times to give it some more pizzazz. diluting right now with um, some Floetrol and water and I'm gonna make this paint flow easier not having any resistance <laughs> Definitely popping the bubbles quickly. Also allows it to heat up the, warm the paint up a little bit. Anytime you see any little specks of white though, that's when the bubbles, the air bubbles have popped. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can grab the seat hooks underneath I've um, I've taped the canvas so the paint is able to um, not get all underneath um, the surface of the canvas it doesn't have to touch the surface of the table Okay, now the trick to turning this around, first we'll go like this, get the extra running off. Now we're going to turn this around, see what we've got on the other side. Okay, I'm going to stretch the paint so that it can come off the edge here of the canvas and also uh, st stretch these lines out 
so our composition is a little bit more um, impressive. Grab the sea hooks to be able to move it. And there's some green that's missing right here. Okay, I think that wraps it up for me, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a closer view before we finish today. Thank you so much. So this is the 12 by 36 inch uh, six cup ninja swipe. The cells are still developing. It'll be interesting how they evolve into the final piece of work. So we're able to see the various um, layers of paint and how the ninja swipe affected the ring pours from the six cups that were sim simultaneously um, poured onto the canvas using a yardstick, um, taped all the cups to them, making sure that they were level and then I filled them all the same in part one. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how the cups were layered and you haven't watched part one, yet please do and this is the um, end of part two and thank you so much for being part of my um, seventh pour and i hope that you can subscribe if you like what you see thank you so much have a great day so this is the next day so this canvas dried within 24 hours i know it's not cured yet but i love the way it's wrapped around the gallery canvas and I just wanted to show you that and this is the end results. Thank you so much again. I appreciate our time together.